off to Atlantis's computers has occurred. Solid rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. 20. Firing chain is armed. 15. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Atlantis, go at throttle up, no action, DPDT. Go at throttle up, no action on DPDT. The call from Capcom Barry Wilmore, a transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. Atlantis off the tank. Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. So, ohms 1 is not required. Your preliminary ohms 2 TIG, 37 minutes. ...of Atlantis's thermal protection system tomorrow, standard customary operations for the second day of any shuttle flight.
for 7,000 pound engine that puts out one half million pounds of thrust and they pitch the equivalent of a perfect game every flight. From everyone who's ridden on these rockets, we thank you. Uh, we can come with that assessment, uh, Atlantis, uh, good and pertinent and uh, true work. Mechanical systems officer here in Mission Control watching over the closing of the external tank umbilical doors. Words of compliment from pilot Doug Hurley uh, for all of the uh, propulsion system engineers uh, presided over 135 flights of the space shuttle and the performance of space shuttle main engines, the external fuel tank, the solid rocket boosters that propelled these vehicles, and hundreds of humans to orbit. firing uh, of this Holmes 2 burn. This will be a firing of both orbital maneuvering system engines on the rear of the shuttle that uh, flank in vertical tail fin. The uh, firing uh, of this Holmes 2 burn, as it is called, about one minute, four seconds in duration. 